version of this man in healthcare industry. Today we have a wonderful interview with our CEO, Kai Kawa. Ladies and gentlemen, please give the Dr. Kai Kawa the most applause. You are the co-founder and the CEO of Cultivated Solution, and we know you have another co-founder of a company, Michael Krieger. Can you introduce your business partner? Absolutely, I would love to introduce my business partner. My business partner's name is Michael Krieger. I met him. My business partner's name is Michael Krieger. I met him at a couple of uh, entrepreneurial events, and one day he was here at the Venture Cafe while I was having my team meeting, and I asked him to join me. Uh, in my team meeting, and uh, later on, we talked about uh, being business partners, and that's how uh, I, I got involved in my company. He is, he is in charge of operations at the moment. Oh, it's awesome. You, so you met Michael Krieger at the Venture Company. Yes, I did. Your company had an event which was mobile technology innovation in healthcare induction. Can you introduce this event? Cultivated Solutions is a staffing and recruiting company. We help people in the healthcare industry and IT industry uh, place them in, in the corporate world or in the hospitals. To, to, since we are in the staffing and recruiting business, we want to be well known in the community, so we host different kinds of events. And last Wednesday, I hosted an event for mobile technology in healthcare. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, as entrepreneurs, uh, you got to work seven days a week, 10 to 15 hours a day. Well, I can't believe that. I know. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. But it's the way I see entrepreneurship is like a plan. To take off, you need to be on the full throttle. That's where I am. And once I take off, once I'm on the 40,000 feet, I'll just be able to lose control. I'm ready to that. Oh, you spend a lot of time on your job. Did you have a hobby or did you take exercise? <laughs> yeah, my only hobbies are uh, Toastmasters, as you all know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's my hobby. I, I love Toastmasters because uh, the reason I love Toastmasters is because I come, I mean, I'm an Indian, not American. What happened in Toastmasters is I get to see and, and mingle with Americans where I get to understand their culture. Because when I'm doing business in America, I need to. It's all about inside out. Because, because if I if I do business uh, in Indian ways, then I won't go anywhere. Yeah, I totally agree that because I transferred my membership from Taiwan to two state hospital at MIT in two thousand nine, yeah. and I, I gave a speech a presentation related to marketing, and I met you last year. Yes, yes. Yeah, I made some great relationships in those industries. And another hobby is I like I like running and exercise. Sitting on my chair for the whole <laughs> so, so I like to run on the Charles River and since it's summertime. And, uh, that's one of the hobbies I like. And other hobbies I have is I have a home um, healthcare events I host. What I'm trying to do is um, address the healthcare issues America is facing. Um, I host an event called as Pain Points in Healthcare. Uh, I bring the best and the brightest people in one room. That is uh, uh, doctors from Harvard, engineers from MIT, and entrepreneurs from the Cambridge Innovation Center. And I put them in one room, and I see magic happen. People, um, healthcare people, come up with all kinds of problems they're trying to solve. And engineering and uh, business people can, uh, can look at the problem and say, hey, we can solve this, and we can look at the surrounding. So, providing a platform so people can do businesses. You have a lot of opportunity in business. So how did you connect or how did you make network through the Toastmasters? Because I remember uh, you are the founder of the Aeroplane Enterprise Toastmasters account, right? Yeah. 
Absolutely. I was I was working for corporate America for ten years, and my job was to sit in the cubicle and only talk when necessary. So when I came to uh, business, uh, when I came to this entrepreneurial community, it, it required me to be extremely outgoing and build and form connections as quickly as possible. And I was not geared for that. And Toastmaster helped me. Yes, I totally agree that. The reason I conduct this speech project because I have a, a speech project that is communicating on the video, and I have to be the host. I participate in every speech contest, and I noticed Gina, she did a very good job. And, I, and also, I learned a lot. That showed, that taught me leadership skills, how to be accountable, how to, how to let people, um, I, I face the same problem as uh, Gina, the Gary Donner is facing, is there's a bunch of people who have to do their job and they're not getting paid. How do you motivate them to do their job? And that's exactly what I face in my company as well. I have a lot of team members, a lot of interns, especially during the summer. How do I excite them? How do I make them believe in me? How do I help them improve at the same time and contribute to the company? How many employees do you have and what's the function of that? Right. Um, um, from a technical standpoint, I do not have any employee at the moment, but I have 50, 60 team members. Some of them are contractors, some of them part-time, and most of them interns. But I do not have a full time employee at the moment. Okay. In the next six months, probably that will change. And that's an event you announce that. You have a product and a ready to the market. Do you have a, a perspective buyer? We are hosting a lot of events and are very visible in the community. So we are reaching out to all the people we have met and shook hands in these events. What I've realized in business is that people don't trust each other. And, and that's, uh, to establish that trust, you need to be doing a whole lot of, uh, of uh, philanthropic work. With cultivated solutions, wow. add a lot of value to the community. So you add the value to everybody. Yes, my, my job. Is okay. Do you have uh, any information about the job opportunity to that audience as well? Absolutely, absolutely. We're looking for business development people. Um, my day job is staffing the crew. And work on startups, especially in the healthcare industry. Looking for business development, uh, uh, mostly business development and sales. We already have two products ready, which is related to patient satisfaction. We're all about making people happy, especially patients. That's our uh, niche market. And if anyone wants to help us out, I'll be happy to talk to you about that. Okay, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a muscle applause to thanks. Back to Italian, ciao.